The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk 6 Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast of me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see in the tube or screen. Let to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 44 years of being on planet Earth, I have developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. Let's get in here and tell you about it. Because just maybe. Just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Jamaica, Puerto Rico. We've got some players over that way. I appreciate the love. You guys got fantastic culture, fantastic music, fantastic food, beautiful lands you live in. I know Puerto Rico been going through some rough times. Uh, I'm hoping you guys are getting better. Uh, much respect to both the countries who listen to the podcast. I appreciate it. Gracias, gracias, gratitude, gratitude. And just FYI, back in the day with the school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. Maybe I didn't want it. Maybe I didn't have to drive. Maybe I didn't have a desire. Maybe I was scared of the haters. <laughs> who knows? I just never got the job. I got the training, but never got the job. That allowed me to do podcasts and to become the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. Subject to debate. Maybe you believe it, maybe you don't. But I believe it. That's all that matters. So it must be true. <laughs> so thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I could ramble here quite a bit, but I won't. Just get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. You remember when all this Ronin thing started? Remember that? When the United States of America, it happened way back in March, right? In March, this Ronin thing started. On the day the Ronin thing started in the United States of America, I dropped an album called The Glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, it's a hip hop album by George Shui the Captain. I made it. I dropped it that day. The Corona came out. The album came out. Maybe it didn't do well. That's why it didn't do well. Because the corona came out and it messed up my record release date. But whatever. Who cares? You can check out that hip hop by your truly the captain. The glitch in the matrix. Maybe it was destined to be come out that day because glitch in the matrix. There was a glitch in the matrix. But check that out. Go over to the Bandcamp page. I'll put the link below. And you can hear me rap rhyme over cool beats I made. Dope beats. Dope rhymes. Unique style that I got. So check it out. Bandcamp page. Put the link below. Now let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2020, and a lot of things have changed since I was a young person. I'm now 44 years old. I used to be 18, 20, 19, 15, 14, 5. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't even imagine being that age, but I was there. I'm not an alien. I went through the growth periods. I went to elementary schools, middle schools, high school, college. I told you I went to school to be a radio DJ. So I went to college for it, be a radio DJ. Did all that college, high school, middle school, elementary school, all these schools, right? Time passes. There was like dial-up phones, cords on them, cordless phones, cell phones. There was cars with no roll, with no power windows. Remember that? You might not know that, but they had cars with no power windows. You had to roll those windows up. There was a time and point in time when you didn't have to wear a seatbelt. Seatbelt was mandatory. You wear your seatbelt. I'm not saying don't wear it. Wear your seatbelt. But there was a time you didn't have to wear it. It was not necessary. You didn't have to wear your seatbelt. There were ashtrays in cars. There was only three channels on the two. I go on and on about all the changes in the last 20 years. I've been through them all. I played Pong on Atari. You know what that is? Brad, if, you were, if you've never seen it, you go look at it now compared to a PS4, PS5, you'd be like, oh my gosh, what is that? I can't play this. I played that. Little block figures. Pac-Man. 
berserk. All this, all this, all these old things back in the day. You're like, man, you're a grandpa, bro. You're old, you played it. How did you have fun playing that? We did, we did that, right? A lot of changes. There used to be regular cigarettes. Now there's e-cigarettes, right? I don't even know what those are, but they're out. Time has changed. Time has passed. Technology's changed. Thing has changed so much. But one of the things that's changed considerably with these screens and tubes is that now you can date on the screen. You want to date? Pull up your phone and you can date. You know, back in my day, we met people in real life at places. We talked flesh, flesh, blood, you know, blood and flesh. Breath, breath, voice to voice, eye contact, sitting in the same space, sitting at tables, sitting at chairs, sitting in rooms, sitting in movies, dinners, places, right? But now a lot of people date through the phone, the tablet, probably do it on the TV too, I'm sure. I don't personally use that. But that's how a lot of people are doing, a considerable amount are meeting in that form and fashion. Now, I've been doing this online phone screen app dating for a considerable amount of time. And as I've told you multiple times on this podcast, I'm not married, don't have any kids. So I don't think I've mastered this phone dating scenario, sequence, events, process, whatever you want to call it. I've not mastered it. Because if I did, I've mastered the phone, app, dating scene, I probably would have kids right now and a wife. Probably would have those if I used it properly. But I don't think I am. But a lot of people are using it. People are getting married from the phone apps. One of my relatives met her husband through a dating website. And they got married, right? Met through a dating website, got married. It worked for her. It worked for them. Somehow they made it work. For some reason, the captain can't make that work. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to use it right. (laughs) Maybe I need a tutorial on how to online date. Maybe need like a roadmap. I need some instructions. I need a book that instructs me how to online date. Maybe that's what I need. Because when you get the app and you do all there's really no instructions. There's not a lot of instructions on how to online date when you get these apps. There's no guidebook. There's no roadmap. I know there's people online on YouTube who like, like I've watched many of these videos, who would tell you like, if you do this, this, and this, this is how you can successfully get a mate. Right now, back in my day, when I was a lot handsomer, handsomer is the word. Well, it's not even used the word handsomer. Back when my skin looked a lot better, and I had a lot of flowing hair, and my teeth were a lot whiter, and overall my body had less marks, scars, dings. I looked more youthful. I looked young, vibrant. Back in those days, dating is a piece of cake. All I had to do was walk out the door. All good, ladies everywhere. Look at that glowing skin. Look at that hair. Look at the teeth. Oh, 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 oh. Look at all that money. Oh, yeah, you're great. But now, 44 years old, I got no hair. Teeth not quite gleaming like they used to. Skin not looking as fresh. Just not, just not looking as fresh as the 21-year-old self used to look. Maybe that's diminishing the opportunities I have to use these apps in a more efficient way. Maybe my 21-year-old self get up on that app and be bro, look at this glowing skin, bro, all day. Ladies, line it up. Line it up. Hey, we this date all day. Could be. Maybe I'm using the wrong app. I'm currently using the app. I'm not using, the, I'm not using Tinder. I hear everyone uses Tinder. Maybe I should use Tinder. I hear lots about Tinder. Swiping the Tinder. for it all day. Swipe Tinder. Swipe Tinder. I never used it. Maybe I should try that. Or maybe I should try like E-Harmony? Was it E-Harmony? Christian Mingle? Or wait, there's even a better one now. There's Trek, Star Trek dating. There's Trek dating, Star Trek dating. Maybe I should use that. Maybe the reason I've not been successful because I'm not using the right app. Maybe I don't need instructions. Maybe what I need is better technology. Maybe I need a better app. What? Okay, you're hearing this podcast 
what's not you might not be hearing on SoundCloud, but this podcast is hosted on SoundCloud. Maybe SoundCloud should add a dating feature. <laughs> Somehow, use your music profile of all your music that you like, all the things you listen to, and you can match up users to date. So not only can you can you upload songs, not only can you upload podcasts, not only can you do playlists. I can do all these things musically, but then you can add dating to the to the mix, right? So you go over to my SoundCloud page, and you got SoundCloud, and we can connect by our musical tastes. Maybe do that. Maybe someone should do that. Come on, SoundCloud, make a dating app on your on your site. Why not do that? We can do that. Somebody do it, right? We can do that. Now I already talked in the past. I've talked about this in the past, and I was saying they should do like a what your t- choices in television programming and movies are, right? That's it. Just base it on that. Whatever your interests are in entertainment when it comes to the screen, the dating is done by that. You can tell a lot about a person by what they watch on the tube, right? Okay, I've heard this quote over and over again over the years. You know, show me who you friends with and I'll show you you are, right? Okay, that's true, right? Show me what you watch on the tube and I'll show you who you are. That's even a good, that's good as well. Okay, show me your friends are, show you are, but show me what you watch on the screen. You show me exactly who you are, right? Tell who you are. See what you watch. I know exactly who you are about what you watch, right? So you know who I am about what I watch? So we just link that up, right? Hey, Captain, you watch a lot of MMA, all right? Hey, Captain, you watch a lot of Star Trek, all right? Hey, Captain, you watch a lot of documentaries, all right? Go to the nice little movie dating app link all the interests up okay we got you a match this lady over here she watches lots of MMA she watches lots of Star Trek she watches lots of documentaries you guys are kind of close in, in, the, in, the, in close, close in the vicinity boom love connection <laughs> I'm really surprised that nobody has done this yet I talked about this like three years ago Nobody out there in cyberspace and Silicon Valley, nobody, no smart genius, no Elon Musk, no uh, Mark Zuckerberg, no whoever runs Twitter, no whoever runs IBMD. Okay, here we go. IMB, I'm in a movie database. IMDB, right? I use that, right? You put your likes, what you like, what you rate movies, right? All right, add a dating app to that. Movie, movie likes, date, boom, right? I don't know. You know, since no one's doing that, maybe I should get off my lazy butt and just go make it myself, right? How hard can it be to make an app? <laughs> it's probably extremely hard. It's probably very hard to make an app. Well, who knows? I go to YouTube and I can learn how to do it. Make it, create it. Online movie dating app. Okay, we go. Internet movie dating app. So I call it I M D A I M D A I M D A Internet Movie Dating App, right? How about that? Or I M D S I M D S Internet Movie Internet Movie Dating Service. You you can play with the acronyms all day. You can come up with a bunch of acronyms and configurations of letters, but you get the concept, right? So it's back to full circle. So there are multiple ways to date on the screens. And unfortunately, your boy the captain has not figured out how to master it. I told you like what, last month or two months ago, I was gonna go to the drive-in. All I did was get a date. How hard could that be? Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It is now October 20, 2020. And guess what I haven't done? I went to the drive-in. So you know what that means? I haven't got a date. I cry about it every night. <laughs> I lay in my bed sulking. Every night before I go to bed, big cry. Like, oh, I wanted to go to the drive-in. I didn't get a date. Tears flowing. <laughs> cry for hours. <laughs> stop, stop crying. But seriously, ladies and gentlemen, um, 
maybe I should just learn or just try. I think I, I, I've talked about this before. We're, we're going to my dating situation. I don't think I'm applying myself. I seem to be able to accomplish all these other things just by putting effort. I'm probably not putting the proper effort into the dating app. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're hearing this podcast right now and you happen to be an available lady and you like what I'm talking about, hey, that's some coffee, that's some drinks, that's some donuts, <laughs> that's some steak. No, we ain't, ain't, no, first date, no steak. We ain't doing steak on the first day. Something light, like a sandwich, some lunch, no steak. Uh, the podcast not paying that well, not yet. I ain't got steak money. So anyways, this has been a really fun one, talking about online dating on the screens, online dating, dating on the screens. Sometimes I get in here and I just just go. If it's one thing I've been able to do over the years and get skilled at, it's just talking a bunch of mess, right? Bunch of mess talking, right? Somehow, somewhere I get in here to talk about a bunch of mess. And I appreciate it if you enjoy hearing me do this, (laughs) because I just do it for love podcasting. Hopefully, uh, took your mind off some stresses. Got to forget about your problems for a little bit. Got to laugh at my 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 ridiculous self. And um, yeah, I appreciate it very much. Like I said, shout out to Puerto Rico. Shout out to Jamaica for you hearing me just run my mouth. It says dude from the Midwest. Thank you very much. So uh, that concludes the podcast. And until next time, we'll see you. Love and you shall be loved. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Lit.